All right, so I'm doing my presentation on um, emphysema. So um, COPD is a progressive respiratory condition that's characterized by um, dyspnea, cough, sputum production, and uh, dyspnea is caused by expiratory flow limitation. So pathologically, COPD lungs have um, alveolar destruction and enlargement, inflammation of the lung parenchyma and the airways. And emphysema can be caused from alveolar wall cell death or failure of alveolar wall maintenance. The studies show that chronic inflammation and oxidative stress contribute to more destruction and impaired lung maintenance and repair um, um, and emphysema. Smoking is obviously a cause of emphysema, but genetic factors may play a big role in susceptibility or resistance to cigarette smoke. Um, so the inflammatory response in emphysema shows um, activation of the innate and acquired inflammatory processes. The more the inflammatory components gather, it contributes to lung injury in these patients and serves as a stimulus for more immune activation. The transporting of inflammatory cells to the lung causes the release of destructive mediators, <clears throat> including tissue proteases and cytokines, which contribute to tissue modeling and destruction. These mediators also have chemotractin factors, um, most of which are chemokines, um, which attract to more inflammatory cells, and the inflammatory response triggers um, structural cells, which include vascular endothelial cells and epithelial cells to make a lot of pro-inflammatory cytokines, chemokines, and other mediators. Also, oxidative stress caused by, big, uh, by smoking plays a big role in creating emphysema. The biggest thing that happens is that the oxidative stress activates the transcription factor, nuclear factor KB, which activates the pro-inflammatory cytokine transcription. Also, one of the studies that I read um, stated that smoking inhibits histone um, deacetylase, which causes pro-inflammatory cytokines to release. So oxidant injury and lung inflammation increase alveolar destruction or compromise maintenance and repair of alveolar structure. Um, in the figure that I, I drew right here, um, the, the macrophages are activated by cigarette smoke and recruit neutrophils and CDA um, lymphocytes um, to cause um, elastolysis and emphysema. And similarly, um, cigarette smoke activates the airway epithelium to trigger airway remodeling, and both of these processes result in airway obstruction. <coughs> CX... Um, CR3 is chemokine CXC receptor 3. EGF is the epidural growth factor. Um, GRO alpha is a chemokine growth related protein alpha. Um, IP10 uh, um, is IFN gamma inducible 10 KD protein. The LTB4 is leukotriene beta 4. Um, MIG is a monokine um, induced by the IFN gamma. MMP is, um, is a matrix metal metalloproteinases. Um, M or PDGF is the platelet derived growth factor, and TGF beta is a growth, um, or I mean, is a transforming growth factor um, beta. Um, so now for um, <clears throat> kind of want to talk about the pro protease antiprotease um, and ba our balance. Um, <coughs> So this can cause um, emphysema when there's an imbalance of these two. So there needs to be balance um, between the protease and antiprotease to have appropriate lung maintenance. The imbalance can cause destruction and inappropriate repair, which is what causes the emphysema. For example, <coughs> alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency is a genetic risk factor for emphysema. One of the studies performed in animal model um, of matrix uh, metalloproteinase MMP12, and it showed that the um, that the mice showed resistance to developing emphysema when exposed to cigarette smoke. Macrophages and neutrophils are our main sources of proteases in lungs, and a lot of the articles showed the connection between the degree of macrophage and neutrophil inflammation and the severity of airflow obstruction. So there are um, there are other proteases like MMPA and MMP9. Um, Cathapsins and protease, uh, proteinase 3, 
And on top of the destruction of the matrix, elastin fragments generated by proteinases have a chemotactic effect on the monocytes, which rises the inflammatory pro um, protease burden in the lung, which creates a positive feedback loop that results in continuous destruction of lung parenchyma. So overall, the protease and antiprotease imbalance can degrade the lung matrix and affect alveolar structure maintenance. Um, so what was interesting was that a study I read talked about how lung parenchymal plasticity is related to oxygen consumption and nutritional status. And a lot of studies have shown that malnutrition and starvation may contribute to the development of emphysema. One of them suggest, suggested that caloric restriction may cause loss of alveoli and lung um, cells and that increasing nutrition restores normal structure. There was apparently um, autopsies done on people who starved during World War II, um, which showed signs, um, showing signs of emphysema and the relatively um, young individuals that were in the military at the time. And, and patients with um, anorexic nervosa have decreased diffusing capacity and increased emphysema. And another article differentiated the um, Alveolar loss of malnutrition from tobacco-induced emphysema um, and it suggests that malnutrition results in reversible alveolar loss in response to an internal stimulus, whereas the tobacco-induced emphysema was an irreversible process due to the exposure of the exogenous agents. And then um, another uh, article that I had read uh, um, obviously say that surfactant may play a role in an important um, uh, or big important role in the maintenance of alveolar structure and emphysema and inflammation-related remodeling has been seen in the absence of surfactant proteins A, C, and D. And there's been a lot of research um, done regarding the role of alveolar structure maintenance failure and apoptosis causing emphysema. So as an example, um, there's a lot of vascular endothelial growth factor in the lung, and its blockade causes airspace enlargement. But apoptosis of type 2 pneumocytes may reduce surfactant which um, makes changes similar to emphysema. So the maintenance of the alveolar structure depends on the interaction between different cell types and the lung matrix, and failure of one cell type may cause damage to the other cell types and failure of the overall maintenance program. So overall, inflammation and oxidative stress um, causes damage to airspace structure and disturbance of the normal maintenance of alveolar structure. The research shows that protease and diprotease imbalance cause emphysema, and additionally, apoptosis has been shown to cause emphysema. So being able to identify the cellular and molecular mechanisms involved in the development of emphysema is very important, so that way we can figure out new targets for therapeutic intervention. And that's pretty much it, and um, these are my references.